Hey YouTube, what's up? Alright, so now that I'm getting a little bit used to uh, making videos, um, I've figured out what I'm going to put on my page. Um, I'm going to start doing some of my oracle readings on my YouTube page. I'm going to start reading some poetry. Uh, I also have short stories and just basically my writing. Um, I'm going to probably start doing my unpopular opinions that I've been posting up on Facebook and putting them into more detail in the YouTube videos. Uh, let's see, what else did I think about the other day? Um, I also might be doing some energy videos as far as making energy balls or just explaining breathing techniques and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Let's see. And you know what? I could probably start now. Maybe. But, uh, one of the unpopular opinions I made today was the fact that, uh, you know, you don't have to be super big or, I don't know, you don't have to be curvy, big, and all that just to eat a lot of food. I know that a lot of girls who are naturally skinny or slender or slim, whatever word you want to throw in there, just naturally smaller girls, not so much petite because there are tall women who are rather small as well when it comes to body mass. Um, they eat food, just like anybody else on the planet. Um, I had said that, you know, that whole comment of, oh, you eat a lot of food for a skinny girl, kind of needs to stop. Again, everybody eats food, regardless of the amount, and I don't think it's logical at all to put naturally smaller women in that category, as if they don't eat. Um, another thing along those lines is if you are naturally skinny, I don't think that other people should be telling these women, oh, well, you need to go in your sandwich or you need to go just, just go eat. Why? Their body type is perfectly fine with them if, you know, they're happy with it. What, what difference does it make to you? It's not hurting you. You may not like how they look. You may not think that they're healthy. However, it's not your body. So why does it matter so much to you? I never understood that personally myself. Um, I have friends of all different sizes and to me, I think it's awesome. I have friends of all different colors too. I think it's awesome. Um, sometimes there are pictures that I see on Google, on Facebook, on wherever else you want to look in books, some of the females, because of how society views things, are quite small. But, you know, there you go. I think a lot of women are attractive regardless of their size, and if you're healthy, I don't see what's wrong with it. Obviously, we all know that being unhealthy isn't the greatest thing in the world, but nobody is perfectly healthy. But there you go. Unpopular opinion, stop telling naturally slender, skinny, slim, whatever word you want to use, that either A, oh, you eat a lot for a skinny girl, or B, go eat some food because you're skinny. It, it doesn't do you any good, and it actually hurts them. So keep that opinion to yourself. Girls, those of you that are naturally slim and skinny, slender, you're beautiful, just in case nobody's told you that today. You're gorgeous, you're beautiful, and if you're happy with yourself, great. If not, I mean, I'm sure you're doing whatever you have to do to change it, but cool. You're gorgeous. Simple as that. Have a good day, y'all. Bye.